Hey guys, Project Zodiac here. I'm back with another video. And uh, this is my uh, spoiler free review for Godzilla Minus One. Um, I will talk about some spoiler stuff at the very end of the video, but I'll make it clear when that is. But for most of this video, it's spoiler free. Um, I'm not going to make this video too long. I do have a lot to say about this, so let's just go straight into it. So, I've now seen this movie two times, and I'm very excited about this because this is the first live action uh, Toho's, you know, Toho is the Japanese company uh, that makes Godzilla. So, it's the first live action Toho Godzilla movie since uh, Shin Godzilla, and Shin Godzilla was really, really good. Um, but I just felt like that one was a little bit too political. Uh, so with this one, it's honestly a lot more traditional. Uh, Godzilla Minus One is, it's very traditional Godzilla, and um, I, I love it. Also, quick disclaimer, if you guys hear me say the word Godzilla a lot, um, that's just because that's how I, I say it um, a lot. <laughs> uh, ever since I was little, I always call him Godzilla. Um, but I, I will be trying to make sure I'm saying the actual name. So yeah, so um, this is a very traditional movie and it it is just very impressive in how they actually handle it. Um, from the, well, before I get into that, just to finish talking about what I'm trying to explain. So this is more taking Godzilla back into his roots, um, back into like from 1954 with the very first uh, movie. Uh, it, it's like that. It's literally a reboot, but it's like kind of a retelling of that. Except they don't really go too much into um, the whole nuclear side of it. Uh, they do a little bit, but not as much as the first one. Uh, at least I don't think so. I recently just watched the first one, and I think it had a lot more references to it. But either way, um, I thought that this movie, like basically being kind of like a full-on reimagining of like what the original could have been um i think that it's fantastic it does a, a great job and there's a lot of tension here um honestly like the godzilla movies aren't really like bad it, like sorry horror elements uh there, there's a lot of horror elements in those in a few of them there there's a, a few but it's more tension it's more like Oh crap! This situation is going on. That's that's a little tense, uh, but it's not usually scary. Uh, but the original uh, movie, the very first one, did have some horror elements to it, which was very impressive, and it still holds up really well. Um, in fact, I just finished watching. Literally, I think it was on Thursday night, right before I went to see um, it for the first time, because I watched it two times now. Um, I just finished watching the first era of Toho's Godzilla movies, um, and that's the first 15 movies. I think Godzilla Minus One is movie number 33 or 34, and I think that includes the US movies as well. Um, so yeah, so I'm about halfway through the series, uh, but this is the first era, and it got, gets like soft rebooted, it uses like just the original movie as the first one and then sequels are like all the sequels are no longer canon with the second era and then the third era is just completely like all original it's not connected to the original um and then we had the u.s ones and now we have this new era for the toho ones uh i'm a little bit upset that they didn't make a sequel to shin godzilla uh because that movie was pretty cool again it was just too political but this one is honestly i think much better um uh, so yeah it, it definitely goes back to the basics of what makes a godzilla movie great so there isn't horror it's like it's not horror but then there's a couple of moments where you're like oh that's kind of tense um so it it definitely brought that sensation back and also with the characters, a lot of people have been talking about like how this movie um, makes you really like the characters. But honestly, like watching the first 15 of like the Godzilla movies, I don't know. I think that the characters um, in them, they're not terrible, but most of them are just really like 
okay, why is the plot like this? You know, I've been writing my thoughts for all of them. Um, so maybe I'll talk a little bit about that. But yeah, they're not, uh, they're not super focused on um, the, the characters too much, even though they try to make it. It's like they, you don't really give the characters a lot of personality. It's just like they're just there for the story. That's what it feels like for the most part. But in a few of these movies, um, the characters are actually fantastic and you really care about them. Such as with the very first Godzilla movie. Um, so Godzilla Minus One makes me think of that as well. It makes me think about the horror, terror, um, tense moments. It makes me think about the the characters actually being good and even like the i forgot his name in this movie uh but he's like the the, the guy with the hair that is like dark and like gray in the front um he's like super smart in the movie he makes me think of i forgot his name sarana or something like that i forgot his name but from the very first movie the scientist in the first movie that makes the oxygen destroyer I swear it's like that's supposed to be him in this movie because for me they just look so similar um, except in this one a lot older or not a lot older just a bit older so I thought that that was funny and every time I'm looking at him I'm like are they are you are they trying to make you him because you look like him um, I think it was the hair and him just also being like the the smart guy um, so I thought that that was pretty cool uh, so yeah, the characters, the horror, um, the way that they like show him and like him supposed to be like a legend or something like that. I thought that that was really, really cool. Um, let me see what else. Yeah, there, there was just like a lot of tense moments. The destruction in this, like I was just, again, I saw it two times. Uh, the time I saw it right now, my friend was even like, yeah, in the US movie, uh, they do see that he killed a couple of people, but it's like, we don't really see that and then in this one you're like yeah no those guys are all gone <laughs> like just Godzilla walking it's just it's impressive it's like yep that yeah no they're there I'm sorry guys they're gone um yeah so it, it's brutal this one is brutal in that way um so you you can see how much people actually die in this one um and it's sad and it really puts like this tension in this uh resolve that people want to sorry for that um that people want to you know figure out what's going on and like help people um i'm just remembering about this news reporting scene when uh, when godzilla appears um I'm not gonna go into spoiler i'm just saying there's a, a news reporting scene um and I, I the friend that i saw with the first time i'm just remembering it he's just like yeah, I'm not going to say anything because of spoilers in, in regards to that scene, but it's just hilarious um, when we're looking back. Uh, maybe at the end of the video I'll mention it, but uh, yeah, no, there's just some moments that are straight out like uh, very like tense in that sense because it makes you feel like, yeah, this dude is like uh, like a wild animal that's capable of destroying like a village, for example, let's say. It's like a village that has, you know, good weapons, but then it's like, I don't know, a giant jaguar or cougar or like just a beast comes in or a bear even and just like starts destroying everything. And um, yeah, that's, you know, like and even though the weapons are good, it's not enough to really like do a lot of damage. That's basically what this kind of felt like. Um, and yeah, Godzilla in this movie, he's kind of angry too. Like he's very, very focused on um, what's it called, like destruction, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, it's just really impressive um, with all of that. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, the characters I said I like. I thought that they were pretty good. And at the same time, it's just visually impressive as well. And the way that they go about handling the situation itself um we all like me and my friends all thought it was like really really well done and honestly at the same time it's like realistic and also just kind of smart too 
and it's like oh okay that works that's fine um so I, yeah the way that they go about handling the situation itself i loved it you know it, it was really really cool um but yeah in terms of the visual aspect and the filmmaking aspect i thought that the filmmaking the camera work itself was i'm sorry my eyes is so itchy right now um i thought that the um camera work was really really good and there's some beautiful shots with like the water as well and even when there's like a and you see this in the trailer so it's not a spoiler like there's a boat scene and Godzilla is coming after it that is impressive like that is so so good uh, honestly when I was watching the trailer uh the very first trailer because I only I saw that like a, a couple of times but the second trailer I only saw once or twice and only recently but that first trailer I just kept seeing it and I'm just like okay the CG for like the CG for this looks bad I mean it looks fine it looks good but it just looks like a anime movie live action anime movie CG um, which again I'm not gonna be complaining about you know I like seeing live action anime and, um, it's pretty cool but the CG you can tell is not as you know high budget as like a lot of western cg movies or live action with cg elements um but yeah so i don't know if like the trailer just it was different because watching it here honestly sometimes it felt like it was a suit um sometimes it felt like they still did miniature work which is impressive if they did um and then other times yes it was cg but it looked better than what the trailer did it looked really 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 good and I remember seeing a lot of interviews with the director, like he's had this idea for this movie for so long um, and they wanted him to do it, but he was like, nah, this, the, I don't have the technology yet for this. Um, and that now he did, so he wanted to film it. So like he was so hyped up about like how he's supposed to look with the computer effects and all that stuff. And I'm like, but the trailer looks like the CG is not gonna be that, that good. Like, even when in the trailer you see Godzilla stomping and, like, the the concrete, or not concrete, but the asphalt um, snapping up and raising, it just looked really, like, cheap CG. Um, and that's fine, you know? It doesn't mean that the movie's gonna be bad, but I was just, like, expecting the CG to be one way. Um, because, again, I like bad movies that have very cheap cg so it's not it's not you know something that takes away from the movie but yeah it just definitely is a lot more impressive watching it as opposed to the trailer because on the actual movie screen it looks really really good i was really really impressed with it um so yeah no like that complaint i had it was gone like seeing it there's only a few moments from like ah, the cg here is okay but again i don't really complain about cg like a lot of people do i know i am right now but that's just because i'm explaining how my mindset was when i saw the trailer comparing it to it now but yeah he he looked great my biggest complaint with godzilla is just that i feel like it was a good mixture of the u.s monster universe godzilla that we have now which honestly for me looks like a chubby iguana um it literally looks like an iguana um and me and my friend today we were like arguing about the best godzilla um uh look and he's like how do you think that this looks like an iguana i'm like dude pull up an iguana it looks like an iguana um but yeah so again the u.s one uh the monster universe one the design's fine it just looks like an iguana uh but for this one the moss um uh, minus minus one in Godzilla he looks a, like a little bit like the monster universe one but with more Toho traditional Godzilla atmosphere and a little bit of Shin Godzilla uh, mostly around like the snout I think but not so much um like creepiness as Shin Godzilla was it's definitely a lot more traditional even in his um, appearance which I really liked um one thing I didn't really like is when he's sending his blast also his blast itself is amazing in this movie that's all i'm gonna say it's just i was shocked by it it's so cool but i just don't like how his fins literally like like th if this is his back and the f this is his fin it literally like comes out 
when it's charging up and then it just slams down i don't know i like it's cool one of my friends loved that um i'm just like yeah it's cool but it's like what if his fence break you know and he's like well it's probably still gonna work and i'm like right i don't know i just feel like they didn't need to have it extend out and then slam down to shoot it um again it's a cool thing i just didn't really like that and that's not a spoiler or anything like that it's you know he shoots the atomic ray it's just the way that they're going about doing it it's a little bit different um but yeah so that was one complaint i had the other one is i feel like his eyes were a little too small compared to like everything else um so i think his eyes could have been better but they look cool he looks like a cat and a dog at the same time and a lizard so um yeah that's how we see like godzilla is like a lizard with cat and dog features basically that lives in the water um i also thought that his arms uh they he, they made him have and this was like probably the biggest change I, I i guess it's just because his arms they made him have like t-rex arms um i love this movie so much um uh, if you guys have seen it you'll know exactly what i'm talking about but meet the robinsons it's a it's a disney um computer generated movie i just love that movie so much but there's a dinosaur and this dinosaur is supposed to be chasing someone and i remember even in the trailers they used this a lot and the person's like hiding in a little alley and he's like brainwashed and he can kind of talk with like the person brainwashing him um and he's just there slamming his head and the guy's like what are you doing and he's like i'm sorry i have a big head and tiny arms like really like that is godzilla in this movie um his head isn't giant but like he has that like little tiny arms and it just makes me think of that um so yeah that was my complaint with his design the spikes coming out and shooting down to fire the atomic ray and also the um how like small his arm and pushing back his arm is but other than that i thought it was pretty good um his design again miniature works if they use some um was really good if they didn't then i'm even more impressed with it um and yeah there's just some like the water scenes is so impressive because they really give him a sense of scale we haven't really seen before and i love that and watching the first like 15 Godzilla movies you definitely see like an evolution how they use the suits and in some cases they had a sensation just like that where you know like how did they do this in the 50s 60s and 70s it's like you know the, the you see the humans and then you just see a giant foot and it, it looks good i mean i know how they did that i'm just saying but like you think as you're watching it it's like oh wow that's impressive especially as you see like through the years how much it changes um and it really gives you like a sense of skill like oh he's huge as opposed to just having buildings around because that doesn't really give you a sense of skill it's like yeah buildings are tall but like put us next to a to a human you know let's see how that is gonna be next to a person how the sense of scale can be with that and the u.s movies have been doing that a little bit but not to this extent in my opinion like in this sorry again my tripod is here in this extent like you can really see that scale and it's super impressive and it really makes me think about like these original 15 movies from the 50s to the 70s um just how that was because it, it is it was impressive then and it's impressive now and it's like why doesn't the u.s studios do something like that because it's it's it's, it's part of the, that intimidation factor it's like oh this thing is giant you know like yes you know they're giant because they're you know like they're on top of skyscrapers slamming on them using them to throw stuff you get that but it's just like eh, it's just cg it doesn't really make you feel like they're huge it's cool like that they are that big but like you know like you you only see them far away basically in those movies in the u.s movies but in this one no he's like right there next to you so that i loved a lot because it really makes me feel like yeah they definitely took this um back to the old school ways um and yeah it just honestly looked fantastic um i also loved the fact that i've always wondered how is it that 
he's always like upright in the ocean and having these fights and like coming out of it like how how tall is he because the ocean is super deep i doubt that he is touching the floor of that ocean and is still like up to his waist walking forward like how, how like do they just show it when it's like when the bottom of the ocean isn't that far down like but no, but then there's moments where we see him in the middle of the ocean. So I'm always so confused. It's like, how tall is he supposed to be? How is he just walking? Uh, you know, uh, sorry, tripod. Walking there. Turns out this movie shows that. He's actually not walking. He is literally um, treading water. And I, I thought it was adorable just seeing his like big like legs and stuff. Like just floating around um, during one scene. I just thought that that was just so cool. Uh, so I'm like, oh, okay, that explains it. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, and I just thought it was really cool. The characters I really liked a lot. Um, I also liked how sentimental and like purposeful they made the characters through the story. It's not like, well, we got to try to make the characters interesting. No, like they do make the characters interesting. Like a couple of the old movies do by really having the characters have emotion and talk about their life and their situation as opposed to just being there because of the plot which most of the movies have um but again a few of them from the old movies do have characters who talk about their emotion their experience and all of that and in this one they definitely lean on that and i thought it was really really good and it also showed a uncommon family dynamic as well uh, mostly just because it's like a found family that literally becomes a family um, as the movie goes on. You see them actually become a family. And it's really, really sweet. Um, and I can relate a lot to it in many ways, too. So I thought that that was really, really good. And another thing I loved about it with the characters is that um, you don't see this very often, especially in like U.S. media. Um, they actually have the, the main guy, uh, the main actor, uh, the main character, actually show a lot of emotion. And it's not just anger, it's not just sadness. You sh They show him being so vulnerable many, many times. They show him crying many, many times. They show him having a mental breakdown many, many times. It's it's so beautiful in that sense because it, it shows like, yeah, like, you know, the, it, it, it contra I'm saying that it's beautiful because it contradicts what the stereotypical movie main character or like stereotypical guy role in society has to be it shows that guys you know cry that guys have these emotions that they feel happiness that they feel joy that they feel love that they feel sadness that they you know get scared and all these things and you know that a lot of times they have to face their fears and confine with the people around them and you know, a lot of times we're not afraid to show these emotions. A lot of times we let them out. So I thought that that was beautifully well done, beautifully handled. A lot of people also complain about the acting. I thought that the acting was great. Um, honestly, I did. I think there was only two characters where I'm like, this dude is incorporating anime so hard right now, but I love it. Um, <laughs> like, it's two guys in particular that, that makes me think that. But the rest I really liked. Um, but yeah, overall, it's fantastic. Also, two last things. Sorry. Um, so two last things. One, I don't really like the name of the movie. Godzilla Minus One. Never really liked the name for it. I can understand where they're going with that. But I just didn't like the name for it. And I still don't. Um, the other thing that I wanted to touch on real quick is that oh crap i just lost it but no, let me try to remember all right i remember um that was literally like just two seconds but still um when i first read the press release and saw the trailer i thought that this was gonna be like in an alternate universe like there was another huge war and japan was devastated again i thought it was gonna be like a like post-apocalyptic kind of style story like it's set in the future so i know that they kept saying post-war japan but again i thought it would be like a different war like later on but no this is when i was watching the movie i was confused i'm like why does the technology look old and 19 what 
so I was really, really confused when I saw like 1945, 1946, because they show us a couple of years passing by. Um, so at the very start of the movie, so I'm like, oh, so this isn't like post-war Japan that Japan had, an, you know, another war, another battle. And no, this is straight out right after World War Two. So I'm like, then that brings it even back, more back to the roots, which again, I really like. So yeah, guys, um, I thought that it was fantastic. I'm not going to go into spoilers, um, also just because it's late. And I was able to say mostly everything I wanted to say without giving spoilers. Um, I do definitely recommend you guys see this movie. Um, I thought it was, again, fantastic. The music was great. Effects were amazing too. So definitely watch it. And the characters themselves were great too. This... I want to say it's a masterpiece like everyone is saying. I got to see it a couple more times. But this was fantastic for sure. It was definitely enjoyable in so many ways. So yeah, for Godzilla Minus One, I say you guys just go watch it. It's so good. Honestly, like it, it's really, really good. Like my friend that I went to see it the first time with wants to watch it again. So I'm probably going to watch it a third time uh, with him. Because we're also planning to watch The Boy and the Heron. Um... And we kind of want to do both on the same day because we think that would be cool. Um, but yeah, so I definitely recommend watching it because it's it's impressive. And it does a lot of things well. And it's like an actual film. Uh, it's not like just big budget spectacle. You know, like it has that, but it's like an actual film. Just like the original was like an actual film. Um, so yeah, guys, I think that you guys should definitely watch this movie because honestly it's great so if you guys watch it let me know what you think with all that said guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video rate and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later have a good day